السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا بكم بأكاديمية أطفال الرمثة النموذجية Hi my students, hope you are fine Let's start with the new unit Unit 15, exercise number 1, page 60 What's the title of this unit? What's the title of this unit? The title is There was a great celebration There was a great celebration what does the word celebration mean? Celebration means a party for important events. A party for important events. So there was a great celebration. Look at this picture. Picture number one. What can you see? We can see crowds. These people together are the crowds. What does the word crowds mean? Crowds mean a large number of people. Let's start reading. Samira, we enjoyed Independence Day. There were crowds on the street. Crowds on the street. There weren't many cars. People were talking and laughing. Leila, there were a lot of national flags. People were waving the flag. Waving and yani moving the flags. So here we can see a celebration, احتفال, in the street and people there are celebrating. This event. They are celebrating Independence Day. يوم الاستقلال. Now, move to number two. Number two. What can you see? We can see planes in the sky. Here we have a band. فرقة. And the band is playing a music. Let's see what are they playing. ليلى. There was a lot of noise. There were planes in the sky. Samira, there was a band in the street. This is the band in the street. Firqa, the band was playing our national song. يعني نشيد الوطني. So the band means a group of musicians. Move to number three. Layla, there were some important people there. Here we have important people. Samira, they were talking about Jordan and about our king. Layla, there wasn't any noise. The people were listening carefully. People here were listening to the uh, important people carefully. Number four. Layla, there were some colorful fireworks. Here we have colorful fireworks. Al-Abnariya fireworks. Colorful means having a lot of colors. And this is the fireworks. Samira. Yes, there was a beautiful display. Display means show. The crowds enjoy it. Layla, it was a great celebration. So they were celebrating Independence Day. Now, let's start to remember the words and their meaning. So to start with celebration. Celebration means a party for important events. It's noun. Crowds mean a large number of people. It's also a noun. Band. Band means a group of musicians and it's a noun. Colorful means having a lot of colors. Blue, red, white and other colors. It's an adjective. Display means show and it's a noun. So here we can see. These words and their meanings. Now, let's start listening and follow the audio. Exercise 1. Listen and read. 1. We enjoyed Independence Day. There were crowds on the streets. There weren't many cars. People were talking and laughing. There were a lot of national flags. People were waving the flags. Two. There was a lot of noise. There were planes in the sky. There was a band in the street. The band was playing our national song. Jordan and about our 
a king. There wasn't any noise. The people were listening carefully. Four. There were some colourful fireworks at night. Yes, that was a beautiful display. The crowds enjoyed it. It was a great celebration. Now, let's start with the grammar for this unit. The grammar today is the past symbol. We use the past symbol to talk about something that started and ended in the past. For example, we enjoyed our holiday last summer. The form, we know that the form is subject, verb to, and the complement. Sometimes we have the verb to, was, or were, but in this case, was or were is the main verb. Like, I was young, I, subject, was, verb to, young is the complement. Today, we are talking specifically about there was and there were. Let's start with there was. There was, it's followed by singular noun. This is the subject. So, there was, then we put the subject. A lion. Here, there was a lion in the zoo. There was. After was, we put a singular. شيء واحد. A lion in the zoo. This is the subject. We usually have subject plus verb. Here, we have a verb plus the subject. لأنه في إجتنا there. In the negative form, there wasn't. There wasn't a lion in the zoo. This is in the negative form. There wasn't a lion in the zoo. For making a question, was there a lion in the zoo? Was there a lion in the zoo? This is how to form the question. And the answer is yes, there was or no, there wasn't. There were, it's followed by the plural nouns subject. For example, there were animals. Where, after it, it comes animals. In the zoo. Negative. There weren't animals in the zoo. Question. Were there? Were there animals in the zoo? Were there any animals in the zoo? Yes, there were or no, there weren't. Now turn to page 62, exercise number 4. Read and answer. Before we start reading, look at this picture. Who is this? This is King Abdullah II. Let's start reading to answer the questions. Every year, people in Jordan celebrate Independence Day on 25th May. On this day, people say thank you to the king. They wave flags and listen to national songs. Everyone in Jordan enjoys the, the celebrations. People are very happy on this day. The Jordanian people are a family, so we are a family in this day. The first Independence Day was on 25th May 1946. It was the first day of the new Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. The first king of Jordan was from the Hashemite family. He was King Abdullah I. His Majesty King Abdullah II is the King of Jordan now. He loves Jordan. He became king in 1999. His father was His Majesty late King Hussein. So late King Hussein is the father of His Majesty King Abdullah II. He is married to Her Majesty Queen Rania. So his wife is Queen Rania. He has four children. We know that he has four children. Now let's answer the questions below. Number one, when do we celebrate Jordan's independence? We celebrate Jordan independence on 25th May. What do people in Jordan do on this day? What do they do? Here, they say that people say thank you to the king they wave flags and listen to the national songs number three 
When was the first Independence Day? The first one. When does it happen? Here, the first Independence Day was on 25th May 1946. Number four. Who was the first king of Jordan? The first king. Here, they mentioned that the first king of Jordan was from the Hashemite family. He was King Abdullah I. Malik Abdullah I. Number five. When did His Majesty King Abdullah II second become king? When? Now, look here. He became king in 1999. They are talking about King Abdullah II. Number six. How many children does His Majesty King Abdullah II have? He has four children. Number seven. Why do you think that people celebrate Independence Day? This is you can write it yeah, your way, like you can say uh, to remember the past or to say thank you to the king. Here we have the answers. For all of the questions. Now, open your student book please on page 63, exercise number 5 and let's start listening. Page 63, Unit 15, Exercise 5. Listen and say. Mm. Mm. National flag. National flag. Tennis. Tennis. Knock. Knock. Medicine. Medicine. Now pay attention for these words. Here we, we just pronounce one N. Tennis. Here we don't pronounce K. K is silent. Knock. Medicine, we don't pronounce the E, so E also is silent. Now, turn to page 57 on your activity book and let's start doing the exercises. Exercise number one. Read and complete. We are going to complete these uh, blanks with these words. Band. فرقة. Fireworks display, اللي هو الشو للفايرworks, flags, music, noise, people. Number one. On Independence Day, there were a lot of people. There were, we are looking for something that's plural, جمع. So here we have people. On the street, they are waving, moving ish. They are waving a flag. Below for the alarm. Number two. The people were. Number three. The people were talking and laughing. There was a lot of noise. People are talking and laughing, so there is a noise. There was music too, because a band was playing. A band was playing. Here, there was a firework display. This is the firework display. At night, it was beautiful. Exercise number two, complete, using was or where. We use was for the singular, we use where for the plural. Here, after was or where, we have ing. This reminds us of the past continuous. The past continuous is have subject, was or where, plus ing, verb ing. Here, we have the subject, was or were, plus ing. So, this is the past continuous. The people, people are plural, were listening to the band. Number two, my father, we have one father. My father was taking photos. Number three, my sister was, we have one sister here, was enjoying the music. Number four, we we're having a great time. So this is the past continuous. Now open your activity book page 59. Move to exercise number four. Read and match the questions and answers. We want to match these questions with these answers by reading. Let's start reading. Hi Ali, how are you? So this is the message for Ali. Last summer, we went to Aqaba. 
It was a very good holiday. There were a lot of people on the beach. Some people were swimming and some people were diving, diving in the water. At lunchtime, we sat on the beach and we had a picnic. We went to see the castle. I took a lot of photos. Then we went to the museum. There were a lot of interesting things in the museum. I enjoy visiting museums because I like studying history. Then we went to the restaurant to eat. Okay. We eat some delicious fish. We all enjoyed the meal. We want to go to Aqaba again next summer. So they want to go to Aqaba again. Right soon, Suleiman. So the writer is Suleiman. He wrote this message for Ali. This is for Ali. Let's start doing the exercise. Where did Suleiman's family go last summer? Where did they go? With C. They went to Aqaba. This is the place they go. Were there any people in the sea? Match it with F. Yes, there were. Some people were swimming. We ask with where. We answer with where. Three. Where did they have lunch? The place where they eat on the beach. Number four. What did Suleiman do at the castle? With B, he took some photos. Number five. Why did he like the museum? Match it with A. He liked it because he liked history. He will be museum because he likes history. Number six. What did they eat at the restaurant? What did they eat? They had some fish. So they eat fish. Move to exercise number five. Right. Now, here we have a message from Suleiman to Ali. Here we are going to replay for Suleiman. We are going to replay to Suleiman's message. Now try to write to Suleiman. Hi Suleiman. Thank you for the email. I am fine. Thank you. Last summer, we... You are going to write about last summer, your last summer. For example, you can say we went to Jarash, we went to Aqaba, we went to... Whatever. Write the place here. It was, you can describe it. For example, it was great, it was nice place, it was very good holiday. Then you can start writing about this summer. At the end, write again soon. And here you can write your names. For example, my name is Dua. I can write Dua here. Now, move to exercise number 8. Exercise number 8. Write. Write about what? Write in this place. Here we have Mother's Day. Here we have Independence Day. Here you can write about your holiday, about Eid. It's a greeting letter. You can say, Happy Eid. Best wishes for you. You can say, Happy Holiday. Wish you the best. You can say, uh, Enjoy this holiday. Thank you for being interesting مثلاً. you can write here whatever you want thank you for listening and have a nice holiday